Hello again everyone, welcome back to Neo Kills Gaming. Today I wanted to tell everyone about a game called Wizard 101. So a game I haven't played in a long time, but it's it's definitely a interesting game. It's very child friendly. It's very it allows you to create a parent or a master account in order to restrict what all the um, child children's accounts and everything can and cannot do. It's a free game to play. There are a lot of other areas though that you cannot that you will not be able to enter if you're playing free. Um, unless you have a subscription of some kind. It does not cost all that much money depending on how many accounts you have underneath you or how many children you have playing. This um, these other areas you can buy them for a one time purchase for each account or you are able to just buy the subscription then you have access to every area while you have that subscription. Now this is like a paid area. Um, I have the subscription for this so I'm able to walk in here. Now there, the whole basis of this game is you select a wizard from schools. My um, personal one that I use the most is a, a fire wizard. And all it is is the combat here is you get these cards here, as we'll see in a minute. And you can select the cards, and you select on what target you want to use them on. It's a very interactive game. Like, as you see these NP circles um, all around the ring, up to three other people um, can join in each battle, and you can work together to take down certain fights. And. See that audio is a little loud. We're gonna turn that down just a little bit here. But uh, so it's, there's a lot to do in this game. You can get pets. You can play games um, in order to level those pets up. Um, you there's fishing in the game. There is a lot of different things you can do. There's gardening. There's even mini games that you can play. It's it's a, just overall it's a very nice interactive game for mostly for children or families um, that would like to play some kind of game with their children. Now my wizard is a little bit of a higher level. As you level up, you can get more spells um, and more cards, and you change what all you'd like to do with, you know, you can build your your wizard a little bit differently, kind of make it your own. You can learn spells, like even though I'm a fire wizard, you can learn spells from other classes with uh, trading points, and you'll get more trading points as you level up. You have your red um, globe down here, which is your health, your blue is your mana, and your green is your energy. The energy is used for... Like those mini games I was telling you about with your pets, they're used for um, fishing. It's used for gardening as well. So if you're looking for a game to either play with your children or if you're a child that would like to get your parents interested into a game with you, then this is definitely a very good choice. They also have another one that is similar to this. I've not tried it myself, but it's called Pirate One. Um, you can also, there's a lot of stuff that you can buy in this game as well. It's, it doesn't really affect stuff much, but this is like a house. You can get like little portals here. You don't have to purchase this house. You will get a, a small dorm room, which comes with the account. You'll have that, um, I went to the wrong one. I don't really remember remember what each of my portals do here, but there's my pet that's following me right now. And I'll show you that area as well. I'll also show you the different kind of wizards that you're able to make. You can get all kinds of um, mounts. You can get temporary mounts. There's a lot of events as far as Christmas events. Here's where you go to do the fishing. You can see you just click on the fishing part here. You have to buy each of these individual spells with the in-game money, um, and all you do is you click on one of those, 
and you just sit here, you wait for a fish to bite. It's pretty easy to do. Um, you just, as soon as you get a bite, you hear like there'll be a sound trigger that'll let you know that there's a fish on the line to um, go ahead and catch that fish and reel it out. These are the mini games for the pets. This is how you level up your mini game. There's a ton of different ones. This is the one that I normally use the most here. Just you just pick one. It's just a cannon game. Pretty simple to figure out. You just you know aim the cannon at the target, adjust your power, take a look at the wind here, adjust your angle, and that was the practice shot. Clearly I was way too high on that. So you keep an eye on the wind here, and let's aim a lot lower, maybe a little bit to the left, and shoot again. And obviously went too far at that time. So you get three shots. You get the practice shot and then three other shots. And there we go. Now that we got a bullseye on that one though, the wind will change direction. So you have to adjust for that. And we almost got it that time. But and that's how you do that. You can also get pet snacks from quests or buying them with the in-game money. Um, so right here we'll choose, and like this will level it up in certain areas. And every pet has different traits and different abilities. Some will even give you extra cards that you can use while you're fighting. Um, and this is the whole general area. If you are not planning on paying for this game, you do have access to the pet area. You do have access to that whole main area. And you have access to a few starter spots um, within this is known as wizard city so you do have access to some of that as well you don't have access to every area here but there's a fair bit of content that you can go through even if you just want to test out and get a feel for it um there is quite a bit to do with just the free to play and then from there you can earn crowns and either buy each area individually to progress through or you can purchase a subscription to keep playing through and there is quite a lot to do if you do have the subscription. I think, I personally believe the subscription is worth it if you plan on playing this game. Because if you were to buy every area individually, because look at this, there's all these different worlds here that you can unlock um, and go to. And if you buy all those individually with the crowns, it's really... Um, not worth it. It's a much better value just to have the subscription and to pay for it monthly. But the thing is, if you buy it with the crowns, you will have that forever with or without the subscription. So, I mean, it really depends to you and it's up to you and how fast you plan on playing through the game. Um, there are also family um, subscriptions that you can purchase on the website. And before... Uh, before we go too further here, I'll show you what other classes we can do. If I can remember, there we go. Let's see if I, we do have a slot to do a character. You can, each account can have six characters. One for each of the inside desk here. So what we're gonna do is we'll create a new character. Aha, the spell is working. Look, Gamma. Finally, we have found one. Oh. A young wizard. A student with amazing potential. Oh, really? Where? Oh, a very, very... I wonder what manner of wizard they might... Perhaps we should consult... Headmaster Ambrose. Answer these questions to find now, out what type... Of you can go through this test here, and this will um, help you if you're unsure what kind of wizard you would like to pick and you want the game to select they have this test here little way so like by doing that it chose ice for me like you can answer the questions however you want and it will choose a school for you or you can just come here and hit skip the test and it will allow you to pick any of the schools that you would like um storm has the highest damage per spell but it has the least amount of accuracy i forgot to mention that when i was showing the cards Myth is fairly balanced. Um, life is mostly concentrated on healing. It doesn't do as much damage, but it has a 90% accuracy 
rating, and there are ways to boost that as well. Storms is like 70% accuracy, so there are quite a bit of chance that this will um, fail. Fire is more like, it's kind of strong, but it has a little bit more accuracy than Storm, and it's a little bit weaker. I think Fire's baseline is like 75% accuracy for the Fire. Ice is like 85% on the accuracy, so the spells are a little bit weaker. Balance, and then Death. Death does have some spells that will, will heal as you do damage. Um, so those, that's a useful branch as well. So those are all the options you have. Um, there are restrictions that you can put on the chatting. I'll see if I can show you some. Now see this white chat bubble here indicates that they're able to chat. But you're not able, it is filtered. So like see how that is all red in the chat box here. That is not a word. So that will not come up if I type it. It filters the words as you um, see how the, again, I spelled like wrong. So like you can see how it will not any words that are not approved or any words that are not words at all will be filtered out and unable to um, be seen by anybody else. So in that regard, it's very nice for children, again, if you're worried about certain filters or cussing or inappropriate language that you are worried about them seeing. Now right here, this is somebody that is restricted to chat because you can see the red um, circle and line through it. Now, that person is restricted to chat. The parent probably has a setting, or the child, um, it's for somebody that's young enough, or it's somebody that just, just, just does not care to chat. Now, they will only be able to use chat options such as this. It's all pre-typed out things, and that those are the only kind of things that they will be able to use. They will not be able to type anything out themselves. So again, they will have only access to these it's just real basic stuff. It's it all depends again on the level of restrictions you'd like to keep on your account and for your kids. Here are some of the mini games. These mini games are used to restore these potions. One of these potions will restore full health and full mana. Um, they're just little games. It's not too difficult. Like the one I would normally do is this one. It gives you a little intro and instructions on how to play. So like this one is just kind of like, um, I don't even know what you would really call this, a line them up kind of game or whatever. Like, So you just scroll through here. Now the only way is that you can get it to lock in there is if you have a match of three or more. So I'm really not seeing a lot though. Oh, um, right here, that will those all will connect to make three or more. So there we're able to... That's just how some of the games work. They're all a little bit different. And the more points you get, the more... Um, uh, more portion of a potion you'll fill up. And you'll get more po potions as you um, play the game as well. There is another option to fill those up. And that's right here. You have to pay the in-game currency though in order to fill them can't show you the price though because I have all mine full so it won't show me. But overall this is a very nice family friendly game. If you're looking to play a game with some of your kids or you know or even just friends in general. There's a whole bunch of different friends and stuff you can set up but yeah I mean it's a very it gives the parent or the guardian a lot of control over the child's like aspect of it in gameplay. You can see there's another person who's unable to chat. Like, just overall, very, very good family friendly game. Um, I, I'll i try to do a couple of videos on content throughout this game, give you guys more of a feel for it. I just wanted to kind of give everyone an introduction to this. Here's some of the mounts you can get. Now, I've purchased a few things from the shops before. You can buy, there is a lot of stuff, but you do have to buy the crowns. And the crowns do cost real life money. And a lot of this stuff isn't like game breaking. You can get stuff that will help you, like the pets. There are quite a bit of pets that will give you different cards. 
so but a lot of it's not really game breaking so it's not making the game like a paid to play kind of aspect it is helpful and but it, nothing in there you can get is really game breaking um, there's a path here you will have access to this path um, if you're only free to play as well this is kind of like the starting introduction area and there's a little duel arena back here where you can have events and duel with other people and win different rewards that way as well. And right here is that. Um, but as you can see, there's a lot of people around. It is still a widely popular game. It's... But it's still... I don't know. I think a lot of people bash this game a lot, but because of how kitty or childish it can be or whatever, but if you're just starting out in the game area, or like I said, if you're a parent or guardian that would like to play something with your um, child or even like a family kind of game to play, this is a great game to start off with and uh, kind of get your feet wet, so to say, with video games. But alright, I think that's going to be it for now. Um, thank you for tuning in and watching, and let me know if you are interested in seeing videos on this kind of game. Like I said, this is mostly just to be an introduction for everyone, and I wanted to get everyone's thoughts on it. If you want to see some gameplay from this, and if you want to see some of the areas, um, I will be willing to play games on, like, uh, games on this and record more videos of it. Just let me know in the comments below, and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more. Alright, thank you for tuning in, and until next time, have a good one, everyone.